Our number one story in the countdown and breaking news out of Fort Belvoir in Virginia. President Obama went golfing with a woman. <gasps> Also, the first lady stopped short of outing her husband's bad habits to Jay Leno. Susie Essman's character on Curb Your Enthusiasm would have dropped the dime on her husband in a New York Minute. She's here to discuss. First to the links, Tweet Line Sunday. CBS News Radio reporter Mark Knoller tweeted to the world that the president had gone golfing in Virginia. The president's foursome was co-ed for the first time. Chief Domestic Policy Advisor Melody Barnes also played. Knoller noted that Sunday made two dozen rounds of golf since Obama has taken office. Noted it took the president, President Bush, almost three years to launch. 24 rounds of golf. Of course, Mr. Bush, who spent the better part of three years living in Crawford, Texas, and Maine during his presidency, gave up golf in 2003. He said as a wartime sacrifice, even though we caught him swinging away after he had said he quit. As to the First Lady's appearance with Jay Leno, on Friday, Michelle Obama took part in Leno's 10 at 10 rapid-fire question segment. The questions range from Halloween costumes for the Obama girls to the names of the kids from the Brady Bunch to the things the president does that get on his wife's nerves. The most annoying habit the president has. Ooh. We don't have enough time. No. <laughs> he, he has no annoying habits, right, Jay? None. Exactly. He's perfect. Exactly. Hey, I don't want to get audited. But when he, you know what? You know what, when, when he beats me at tennis, that gets to be pretty annoying, oh, and he beats okay. me quite often. So you just hear that last part of the clip. He beats me quite often. Currently starring in Curb Your Enthusiasm, seventh season as Susie Green. Susie Essman's book is What Would Susie Say? Bull Something. We have to say bull something. Okay. Sorry. About love, life, and comedy. It is in stores now, and she shares some of that bull something uh, as she joins us for our segment, The Political Merry-Go-Round. Welcome. Hello, Keith. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You seem very good and enthused and everything like that. A column in the Chicago Sun-Times said that this presidential golf outing, because it involved a woman there, was breaking the glass ceiling. I thought that yeah. when W played tiddlywinks with Condi, nice. that was breaking the glass ceiling. What's the big deal? Is, uh, is that what they're calling it these days, tiddlywinks? Tiddlywinks, exactly. <laughs> the first lady, as we just heard, says she loses to the president in tennis all the time. This begs the question, if he's a good husband, shouldn't he like throw a game periodically? Or? No, because the, then the, the far right would say a real man would never let his woman win. You can't win if you're him. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, no, he, he, he's, he's got to beat the crap out of her. Well, see, now he's provided. Okay, now, so then when the show gets dissected <laughs> by Rush Limbaugh, it's a, a sound but clip. But we know he thinks it. That's right. Well, he's a psychic or yeah. some word that sounds like psychic. Uh, the first lady held back when Leno asked these questions about what his greatest flaw was. Right. What would Susie Green have done in those circumstances? Do you have seven-second delay no, on this no, show? No, no. I'll, I'll tell you about my own husband. My yes. own husband, his greatest flaw is that he tells really long, boring stories. And But I have a, a, a thing now that I do to him. I just say to him, glazing, which is shorthand <laughs> for my eyes are glazing over, which is shorthand for you're boring the living daylights out of me. So I think Michelle should do that when, when Barack starts a, a policy in public option, which is one of the glazing topics of our time. Mm -hmm. Glazing and just shut them up. Um, to move on to publishing news besides your book, yeah. Levi Johnston, who was nearly Sarah Palin's son-in-law until he escaped, uh, he says he is 90% sure he's going to uh, f uh, uh, full exposure in Playgirl magazine. Really? How many copies are you putting, mm. you're putting yourself down for on that? I guess Levi took his name Johnston seriously, <laughs> okay. didn't he? Oh. Literally. <laughs> uh, is he circumcised? Do they do that in Alaska? It's, well, why wouldn't they do that in Alaska? I don't know. It's cold up there. I don't know, Keith. Don't know so, these so things. You, so you're not circumcised for warmth? Well, you tell me. <laughs> um... <laughs> I can't read the next question. All right, I'll, I'll move on to the next, 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 next one. Was something about a naked Levi Johnson being this year's Snuggie gift because the thing is supposed to be out for the You know what's interesting? Snuggies might be one of the most unattractive items to buy, and Levi's Johnston might be as well. I don't know. In, uh, in husband and wife news, and we keep yeah. coming back to this here, yeah. there's going to be a, an impeachment resolution introduced tomorrow against the governor of South Carolina, oh, really? Mark Sanford. Do you have any uh, advice, either in a political or a family? family sense for this, the infamous old Appalachian Trail hiker, Mark? I would get off the Appalachian Trail if I were him and start hanging out in, in uh, airport bathrooms in Minneapolis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
That, they've done that already. Uh, you have an entire chapter on hypochondria in yeah. your book, and we're dealing with health care reform. Yeah. Could you support a bill with a public option or without that did not call for more uh, hand sanitizer? No, absolutely not. Hand sanitizer is the greatest invention of our time. Wipe, 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 wipe. You can't be... How You have no... no when you do those touchscreen ATMs, yeah. what are the odds that a person before you is not a nose picker? <laughs> right? Wipe, wipe, wipe. Well, it's not how you're not at the Howie Mandel level of this, right? <laughs> Susie Asman of Curb Your Enthusiasm. The new book is What Would Susie Say? And then there's some words we can't repeat here. Uh, great thanks. Great pleasure to meet you. You too, Keith. Take care.